Hello and welcome to Jam's Ticket Guides, uh, where I help you to learn about aspects of ticket in an easy to follow fashion. Now, I've been receiving a lot of comments on my channel, uh, which I haven't been able to reply to because, yet again, YouTube is a bit screwed up. However, uh, the question that's been asked by people is, now that the electrical engine has gone from ticket, what alternatives do I have, and are solar panels now useless? Now, there is an alternative. It's very easy to use, pretty much the same as electrical engines. So, as we most of us know, the forestry mod was moved from Ticket. Some people say because users found it hard to work with, uh, whilst others say it was because the mod creators did not want anything to do with Ticket or something along those lines. Anyway, whatever the case, that's not the important thing. The important thing is that it uh, it no longer exists. So, a few things that I talked about in previous episodes are now pretty much useless, uh, particularly the electrical engine. Now, the electrical engine for me was very useful. Um, I know it's the one I use most, uh, especially in my videos, because of its it's just a lot easier to use than most engines, you don't have to look after it. <laughs> it can it can sort itself out. So, um, I'm going to go out of the pouring rain and inside to my testing lab uh, and give you guys the lowdown on what to use, uh, which is a thing I have in my hands now, which is called the energy link. So, I just need to gain access to my uh, Test chamber. There we go. Good. Um, so I can show you guys how to use it. And as I would say, it's very easy to use. Um, oh. <laughs> Get in the door. There we go. Yeah, very easy to use. Um, so I hope it won't be too long a video. Uh, so here goes. So uh, first things first, as always, the crafting recipe. Now. It uses two gold gears, uh, two advanced alloys, which I'll show you how to make in a second, uh, one wooden conductor pipe, three redstone, and a copper cable, and that makes your energy link. Uh, now, you obviously, if you hover over and press R, it will give you the uh, crafting recipe for that particular thing. Um, however, um, oh, let's move to my stuff again, thank you very much. Yes, let me show you how to use, how to make the advanced alloys. Now you're going to need to make something called a mixed metal ingot. Uh, to make that, you need refined iron, bronze and tin. Refined iron goes at the top, followed, I think, by bronze, followed by tin. And that gives you two mixed metal ingots. So, uh, when you've got these, uh, what you need to do is to get yourself a compressor. Now I've got one over here which I've connected up to my solar panel that's on the roof which you can't see from here. Um, so I'm just going to chuck these in here, it will probably make a little noise um, and that will create our advanced alloy. So we'll need two per energy link. So that's how you make that. The next item was a copper cable. This is uh, much more simpler. Simply rubber and copper. So six rubber and three copper. That makes six copper cables. Uh, so you just get rubber um, obviously from the rubber tree and then you know sort out the sap which I'll show you to do. Well you can actually have a look on the internet. There are loads of guides around. Um, and the last thing we need to make uh, that you probably won't know how to do or might not know how to do, sorry is the wooden um, conductive pipe, this thing down here. Uh, so first of all, you need to make a standard wooden transfer pipe by putting uh, two wooden planks either side of a glass. That'll make you eight of those. Good, good stuff. And then you just need to put some redstone on top. And that'll give you a wooden conductive pipe. Simple as that. So we've got everything we need to make our energy link. So we just put everything in that order and Bob's your uncle, that's one I made earlier. So, uh, now, 
This energy link is designed specifically so that field craft and industrial craft can be used in conjunction with each other. Uh, now, it can be placed uh, like an electrical engine, so it can be placed right next to wooden pipes or even machines directly. Um, so I'll show you how to set it up with a quarry in a second. But first, I'm going to give you a quick demo um, of how to use it uh, with pipes. Now, to be honest, it's a bit overkill for pipes, but I would probably do it anyway because it's a lot less hassle than using redstone engines or uh, steam engines or any other type of engine here because you don't need to look after it. So I'm going to get myself um, just a really easy setup. Um, so just a pipe from one place to another. So supposing I had two double chests um, and I wanted to take stuff from this chest um, along a pipe, put it into the top of a furnace. Um, so, for example, I'd probably want to put some sort of ores in. So here we go, let's get some ores out. <laughs> and in the bottom of the, uh, oh, I haven't done the show well. In the bottom of the furnace, I'm going to need to put our fuel in. So if I pop another, uh, another pipe like so, and I just want to put some coal in this one uh, to power the furnace. So, you know, a very simple setup. Um, so, now we need to link up uh, the pipes to energy links. So, I'm going to pop one there and there. And now what I need to do is get some of those glass fibre cables and link it all up uh, to my uh, solar panels. Now, uh, these energy links are automatically on um, unless you provide them with redstone power to turn them off. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but um, that's the way it works. So, if I've done everything... Actually, we might not have any power. No, we have got power. Okay, that's good. So, with any luck, we should start, here we go, start to see things being piped. Um, I'm not sure what's going on over here. Um, maybe I didn't... I can't even get into my own chest. Probably because I put that on top, I'm such an idiot. Uh, oh, wait, anyway, I, I meant to put that in the chest. I don't know what I'm playing at here. Oh, god damn it. Okay, bear with me a second. There we go. Right, take two, there we go. Now it's quite a powerful, it's probably about the same power as an electrical engine. So it's taken out of that whole stack for me immediately. And it'll pop it in there. And there we go, it'll start um, all that. I'm going to turn the lights on actually, it's a bit dark in there. Uh, sorry about that, should have done that earlier. So that's how you use the energy link. So as you can see, it's much the same as the electrical engine. And what's even better is that you don't need to step down power because uh, the energy link is capable of working with high voltage stuff. Now on the roof I've just got some low voltage solar panels. Uh, so they're not the basic one, but they're the step up from the normal one. So I've just got that set up nicely. So as you can see, it's very simple. Um, so, just for just for the sake of completion, I'm going to go outside, show you how to link it up directly to uh, a high-powered machine, such as the quarry. Now, to save time, I've just popped. Oh, there's a spider in there. I've just popped down a quarry um, uh, next to an, and an energy link next to it. So the quarry will pump all that stuff into that chest. Now, hopefully I've still got enough power um, to do this. So I'm just going to... Uh, oh, I've already got some. Okay. Let's connect this up. And you'll see it working. 
we go, pretty fast, because I've got quite a lot of solar panels. Um, although it'll probably run out fairly soon, because it's night time. But yeah, that's what you need to do, you just need to plunk the energy link next, down next to where you want to... <laughs> you get power, hello, spider. Um, bugger off, please. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it. As far as I know, there's no overheating, although I might double check that, I don't think it's a point. Um, so it's a safe alternative. So with that, um, I bid you farewell, and I'll see you, see you for the next one. Uh, don't forget to check out my Facebook page uh, for the channel, facebook.com forward slash jams gaming guff, all one word. And now you'll find all the updates, uh, all the news, anything that I feel I need to make you aware of. Um, so like that page, um, and you'll get all the latest gossip from my world. What fun. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this has been useful, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.